Hello everyone. After traveling to Indonesia Safari Park, we return to De Hakim's aviary. However, something is a little different in this episode. Instead of releasing birds in the aviary, we will release birds outside the aviary. Of course, not all bird can be released outside. If we choose the wrong one, the bird might fly away to anywhere. So, what kind of bird is suitable to choose? One of them is the Pacific Swallow. It's the aviary! Hello, guys. Now I'm bringing the palo bird or Pacific swallow. Well, we feel like these birds are better off outside the aviary. The Pacific Swallow is a small bird. Their body length alone is only about 14 centimeters. Their forehead, throat, and chest are rust red, while the upper body is dark blue. The belly to the tail is grayish white. They are slightly different from swallows, who often spend time flying. Pacific Swallows are often perched to rest, then clean the body with their tiny beaks. They have wings that extend beyond the tail. So, when perched, their wings will cross and cover the backside. Although they like to perch, during the day, they are often seen around the river to grab water and prey on small fish with agile movements. Yes, they are indeed fast and maneuverable flyers. They usually catch dragonflies as they fly. Their distribution area includes countries in South Asia, such as Sri Lanka and India, to Southeast Asia and the islands of the South Pacific. They live in small groups. Usually, they can be found in open places, such as rice fields and residential areas. So, don't be surprised if you see a small flock of Pacific swallows perched on power lines. They also like to prey on insects in the fields so that farmers are helped by their presence. The advantage of these birds is that they can live in the area where we live. We can also take them outside, and they will come back home by themselves. They look like carrier pigeons. Now we will see where they live. The Pacific swallows often hang out on the balcony. That's where they live. Let's go there. It is their house. Previously, they were placed in the aviary. However, we are trying to move them outside the aviary. Then, I try to put them here, and they like living here. I put these birds together with their food. I also put their drinks here. So, they know their home. And they can feed themselves. They also sleep here. In the afternoon, the Pacific Swallow would come back here. The Pacific Swallow bird likes to migrate locally. So, within 100 kilometers, Pacific Swallows can return to their homes. To prove it, we will train them first. After that, we take the Pacific Swallows to a place some distance away. We will use a motorbike with the cameraman. So I put them here first. Later, I will call them from below. 
Okay, guys. So, we have previously trained these birds outside. We make them respond to their food. We intend to make them independent. So they need to know their food. As we showed earlier, once they found their feeding grounds, they'll come back again even if we let them free. Okay, guys. Now we, Bagus and I, will release the Pacific Swallow from some distance to prove that they can go home by themselves to De Hekim's aviary. Bagus is the teacher who taught me about the Pacific Swallow. He's good at training the Pacific Swallow. Finally, I can train them. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Let's go. Okay, let's go. This is the bird. Here's how to hold it. We release them at the crossroads. Uh, the T-junction. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. It's time we let go the Pacific Swallow. We've traveled quite a distance. Yes, quite far. We will test they come back to the aviary area or not. How strong is the memory of these birds to find their home? Here are the birds. We will release them. They flew straight there. Okay, they went straight home that way. So, we are also back again. We'll wait for them in front of the aviary. Hopefully, Pacific Swallow will come back. I hope they come home, guys. But what if they don't come home, Goose? If they don't come back, we have to be sure they will. We have to believe them. Is the motorbike off? The motorbike broke down. We'll walk. Yes, come on. The motorbike broke down, guys. Run out of gasoline. Seriously. Run out of gasoline. Yes, out of gasoline. The birds had arrived before us. It turns out they can go home by themselves. Here, please hold the camera, Goose. Excellent. So the birds arrived before us because our motorbike had broken down. It was true, and these birds can go home on their own. We give them a lot of food bonuses. Come on, Goose. Explain the Pacific Swallow while waiting for their food. The Pacific Swallow is a pretty intelligent bird. And they know the coordinates. They can find their home again because they are used to being fed and cared here. They don't much differ from the carrier pigeon. Well, that's right. If you want to train them, as we did earlier. If we release them outside, please don't immediately release them far from home. Firstly, let's release them in a close area. After that, we will gradually increase the distance. How far have we traveled? About two kilometers. No, we only cover one kilometer. Maybe next time, we will take these birds even further. Yes, further and further, all the way to Japan. Okay, Goose, please give a closing statement. Okay, guys, that's the Pacific Swallow that Kong Pio trained. Hopefully, 
These birds are getting more trained, and their range can be further.